All right. We're live again. We got it. Um, hi, everyone. If you're just tuning in uh, and this is your first time uh, coming to the Meta Intro channel, my name is Lacey. I'm a co founder here at Meta Intro and uh, with my colleague Alex. And every week we do lives, or at least we've been starting to do lives like this, where we do. How would you describe it? Like, what, what, how would you describe Web3 Wednesdays? Um, I would probably say educational educational information, tips and tricks on how to get your dream Web3 job, yep. with, you know, after. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, fun stuff like, oh, go ahead. I mean, we have a lot of, you know, great resources in terms of like educational things that people can use. And I mean, I, I mean, I got so much great feedback from people that watched our lives and actually, you know, help them improve a lot of, you know, aspects of their applications. Yeah. Yeah, it's been good to see all of the feedback uh, from the community. So every week we've been doing something different in the educational space. So a few weeks ago, we did uh, a live review of some resumes. Uh, we also did that last week. We did community moderating. We did sales. Um, no, last week we did uh, how to find a job on crypto Twitter. Um, and this week we are doing a review of LinkedIn profiles of individuals in the Web3 space. So um, I guess we could just go ahead and dive in. Sure, sure. Let's do it. Um, just, you know, quick question to you, Lacey. I mean, you've been in this field for a very long time, recruiting people, you know, hiring people. Um, what do you like more to look at, a uh, resume, a PDF resume, or a LinkedIn? So if a person will send you two options, resume and a LinkedIn, which one would you go first for? That's a good question. Um, I would probably go do their LinkedIn first, uh, but that's just me. Um, not every recruiter is the same. A LinkedIn can t a LinkedIn profile can tell you a lot about uh, an individual based on like their recommendations, the connections, um, the like attention to detail that an individual puts in the, the experience section. Also, LinkedIn, you can add things that you can't necessarily in a PDF resume, like you can have featured uh, news sections, you can, uh, what else can you do? You can, you can see somebody's engagement within the, within the LinkedIn community. So I would probably say LinkedIn. What about you? The same. Yeah. I mean, LinkedIn, because unlike resumes in LinkedIn, the structure is always the same. So I know exactly where I need to go in LinkedIn to find specific information about person it just makes it simpler for me um yeah. also LinkedIn, what i like about linkedin more than you know traditional resume let's call it this way um is that you're not limited to one page if we're talking about you know business development mm -hmm. roles uh you have freedom to include everything that you want but you know of course you should be cautious yeah. about it. again you're not limited on the beyond size of it so uh let's dive in we have this great profile of taylor he is also a member of Meta Intro, he makes great video content on landing a job live on, for a DevRel position. So um, let's start from the top and just kind of go down. What do you think about it? Yeah, so because we know Taylor, I think uh, it's just a little bit more context into like what he's trying to achieve with his profile. Um, if you haven't checked it out or if you head to our YouTube channel, you'll see that uh, he has his own playlist where we're watching him lab in public. Um, and I don't think he's made a video yet on optimizing his LinkedIn. I know the YouTube video he made last time was optimizing his Twitter profile, but I'm sure there's some things like bits and pieces here on his profile that are probably similar. Um, so I think diving in, sorry, I have to like yeah. squint a little bit. Please, I, can, um, I can make oh, it bigger but before, before I make it bigger I just want to mention one thing mm -hmm. that I never mentioned that before and I think that nobody really think, thinks about it is if you're going to press on you know the LinkedIn link this is important to make <laughs> sure that you customize the link and it's not just you know generic numbers and letters but it's actually your name which I think I mean, totally. that's great uh, because I did see a lot of applicants that even applied to Meta Intro 
they didn't have this, you know, like customized name in the link, which I think is kind of important. But <laughs> again, not everybody will actually really? look into it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a small, you know, small I, I feel like that's, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. So starting from the top, um, I recognize mm -hmm. the spanner because I think he also uses this on Twitter. Um, I personally think it's great. It tells you what industry he's in, what kind of job he's looking for, and his stack. Super yeah. easy. Um, right? Yeah, I love, um, I mean, I love his background picture uh, that it's, first of all, it's Web3 that, you know, he specifies exactly that he's looking for Web3 position. Ethereum, Solidity, Devil. So he mentions what he's interested in. What, but just one thing that mm -hmm. I would change in the background picture. I would move it slightly to, to the right just to make, you know, his picture here kind of be a full circle. Yeah. Without kind of a cutoff. It's, it's an easy yeah. fix, but just would look a little bit better. Yeah, um, or I could even just completely remove it and instead make that picture his profile picture. Yeah, yeah, or that. Yeah, because two pictures probably is not needed. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Thank All you right. for joining. Yeah, good morning to everyone tuning in. Yeah, so now let's move right. to profile picture. I like the profile picture. I can clearly see Taylor. That's great. I love that he has the <laughs> open to work badge uh, because he is open to work. He's look, he's currently yep. looking for a job. And I think this is great. If you're looking for a job, you know, just add this badge. I mean, it takes about a second to do and it's, it's great. Yeah. Okay. So scrolling down to, uh, he has a good header description, Web3 savvy software developer trying to build a decentralized future. Love that, very clear. Um, and let's see, he's in Belfast, that's great. He has his education listed at the top. Um, can you click on contact info? Uh, contact info, yeah, of course. Yeah, let's see what pops yeah. up. Nice, awesome. Yeah, I mean, he, he got everything. Um, yeah, maybe I would add also yeah. Twitter, Twitter handle, if that's possible. I'm not sure if you can do it on LinkedIn. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's great. So one thing that I'll probably work on his end is just, you know, making maybe more connections. Because when you have, as mm -hmm. the more connections you have, the easier it is uh, for you to land the job. And I can explain why. Because, uh, Let's say you make a post, I'm looking for a Web3 job, you know, and you have different connections with, you know, maybe hiring managers from other Web3 companies. And they might just, you know, see your post and contact you with mm -hmm. an opportunity. Or they might repost it or comment on it. And when they do a repost, you know, their yep. community will see it. As well as if they make a comment, people will also see it with their connections, which I think is great. So the more mm -hmm. connections you have, the better. But make sure the connections are relevant to whatever field you're in. Yep. Okay. So what else? Right. Um, work, awesome. Um, I would work on the about section. I think that about section is important and, um, you know, to have a bigger mm -hmm. description is a few sentences. And uh, for, you know, for the about description, I would suggest, we're gonna get to, you know, like really good about descriptions in a minute, uh, add numbers your achievements so the person that reads it can see you know clearly what you what you have achieved in your career so far yep yeah i've seen some really solid about sections uh so hopefully we see some in the next few profiles that we look at um about sections are great to highlight um great to highlight things that you don't like and maybe more of a personal touch that you don't necessarily do in your uh, employment or education section mm -hmm. um a good place to also drop links um if you have like a personal profile or you want to forward people to your twitter um and also if you're looking for work a good place to write at the top like, yet again you know open to work uh recruiters are welcome to dm you know i see i see that often so um definitely a ton of room for opportunity in this about section yeah. Also, you could add just to make it simply which position you're look, you're most interested in. 
right there mm -hmm. on the top, you know, open the work, looking for, let's say, tears, yeah. you know, dev real position. I think this would be great. And also easier because if a hiring manager opens up your profile, I mean, besides that you have here, you know, dev real, they'll say that you're looking for this job. Yeah. It's easier for them to contact. Okay, let's move forward. Um, so featured section, I mean, this one, if we're going to click on it, um, one second. Okay, awesome. So he has a feature that he is, um, you know, kind of about his previous work experience and that he's open to work, which yeah, I think is good. That's great. That's great uh, that he made that post. Yeah. And as we can see, you know, he had six reposts, five comments, 29 likes. Yeah. You know, I mean, good engagement. Yeah. Okay, let's get back yeah. to um, the With the posts, if you want to have anything else that's featured here, you can also feature, like, again, links to your personal website. If he wants to feature, like, a link to his GitHub. Um, I know Taylor also writes. So here, mm -hmm. I, I know he just wrote uh, an article on maybe like identity and Web3. Like he should totally feature that yes. here, especially because he's looking for a developer relations role. So um, I definitely utilize this featured section as much much as possible, featuring the content that you want to, want recruiters to see. Yeah, as well as you can also, like if you participated, let's say in a podcast or maybe YouTube video, you can also include mm -hmm. it there, the content's relevant to your experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, so activity, yeah, I can see that he's a little bit active in terms of, you know, he comments in some posts, but this one was two weeks ago, one month ago. I would suggest, uh, you know, being a little bit more active, talking to people, commenting. This way, you know, you'll be more out there for recruiters. Yeah, okay. a good way to also be active on uh, LinkedIn is commenting on recruiters posts. Um, recruiters post all the time that they're hiring for certain positions. So um, similar to crypto Twitter, where like last week we talked about um, when you sign into a DM, sometimes it goes into the filtered message uh, to make sure that a recruiter sees it. You'd also want to comment on the post. Similar concept here, right? But like um, you're most likely one of us and applicants that are applying to, let's say, a job on LinkedIn um, and good opportunity to also interact with the post so that the recruiter sees your, sees your application. Yeah, I mean, I agree 100%. That's a great point. Yeah, it's always to have this, you know, extra touch, you know, make a comment this way. You will not get lost and they will see that you're mm -hmm. very in this position. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's move into our experience section. Um, what do you think about it? Taylor, why, why don't you listen? I wish you, I wish he was on, on live with us right now because yeah. uh, what an opportunity to ask him why that is isn't listed here. He definitely has a ton more experience than this. So um, he should definitely add us uh, as a content creator. Um, and add his other stuff. I, I feel like he has more experience than this. I could be wrong. But um, underneath or in the experience section, you know, he should write, he sh should essentially take what he in his resume, like the bullet points underneath the experience mm -hmm. section and put it, duplicate it here. Yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah, because I would expand this section just kind of to specify what exactly you did in each position. Okay. Yep. Uh, so he has education section, which is really good. I love when there's education section because I can see, you know, where the person is coming from and, you know, what type of bachelor's degree mm -hmm. they got. I think it's good. Um, I don't think this one, this one will be important, but, you know, good. Skills. No. Uh, yeah, teen I agree. skills. I would, I doubt that he included all the skills that he has. I don't think that 15 skills, you know, is yeah. sufficient. Um, and also no endorsements. Yeah, he should ask us to endorse him. I don't know. <laughs> he needs to yeah. utilize us a little bit more. Um, so Taylor, again, if you're watching this stream, you should request endorsements from us because we'll, we'll give some of that. Um, and definitely list out all of your skills and 
with this. Like, I think he's like learning smart contracts and solidity. So he should add that under the skills section. Yeah. Well, I mean, we didn't open all of them. Maybe he has it there, but you know, it's always good to have more skills. Uh, just as many skills as possible, you yeah. know, all, always relevant, but you know, what you, what you know. Okay, and uh, then we have the last section language. I mean, that's good. If you know two languages, three languages, make sure include it here. This is great when you know when you get hired. Yeah. Um, we have yeah. a question. Uh, what do you think about an experience portfolio? Well, Lacey, will you mm. take, a, take on this? What do you think about it? Um, listen, uh... I don't know what an experience portfolio is. Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, go ahead in the comments and we'll answer. Um, and we'll get back uh, and to it. Anybody who's applied for recent... Yeah. So, um, also, sorry, guys, if you hear a little bit of a delay. I'm currently on a boat. So <laughs> in the middle of the session. So the wife is not, not great. Um in terms of a job post, I'm an intro on Angel that was accepted a few weeks ago. Um, holiday season uh, has been a little bit nuts for the team. So if you've uh, received anything from an application uh, that you've sent into one of our open jobs, I uh, expect to hear back from us over the next uh, two weeks or so. so the team will uh, getting up to speed. So, yeah. okay. Do you want to move on to the next profile? Um, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so, yeah, we got a response to your question. So, for example, a, a web page with previous work projects or case studies. I mean, I'll uh, probably say this. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, if you have one, of course, yeah, include it. Uh, especially if you have, you know, maybe maybe you're a developer and you have, you know, projects, of course, have it there. Yeah. This is something extra, yeah. which will not hurt. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's get into our second profile. Um, okay, so this profile, let's make it bigger. I like um, the background picture because it's, I mean, basically mm -hmm. because he works in this company and he also, you know, he's proud of it and he has the background picture of the company, what they do. Uh, yeah, so he, as I understand, he's not open to work right now. He is working here. Um, yeah, I mean, that looks good. Um, I like the profile picture. I can clearly see him. I mean, formal dress, dress code, right? Um, what do you think about the, the tagline? I think that's great. I see this style of like taglines I, is super common. You see it across Twitter, you see it on Discord on discord profiles you see it on linkedin um i think fewer the better depending on the type of job you're looking um but for here like business development head of growth and sales marketing um if that's, those are the jobs he's looking for i think it's great um mba good to know uh, see, uh, yeah i think i would pick you know, of these, because if you're saying Web3, you're most likely including DeFi blockchain and NFTs and the metaverse and, think, and gaming. That's like saying, <laughs> yeah. if you're in, if, and I'm looking at that, you know, like I'm yeah. like, that all means one to me. So you could just say like Web3, or if he's trying to look for something a little bit more specific, like Web3 or just blockchain and, and metaverse, um, you know, maybe be more specific but probably what he's thinking with this tagline is like hey if i put all of these tags i'll populate in a search like it it bumps my um mm -hmm. like seo then linkedin you know with those tags so i totally understand um yeah. what he's trying to do here yeah i mean this is just you know another way of making a tagline which i mean like i mean i also like it it's, yeah. it's good um okay let's move on um so yeah he also has his educational background here Great. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move into activities. Uh, so I can see that he is quite active in terms of making posts. So this post was three hours ago. Um, oh, and also just, I mean, I forgot to mention, so he has 
2,535 followers and 500 plus connections. So I'm pretty sure in terms of connections, he has close to 2,000, maybe more, which I think is great uh, because this way he's more out there for recruiters in case he needs to find a new job. And uh, yeah, I think that's helpful. Yeah. Yeah, so activity is uh, great. So he made a post about a company that he's working right now in. Just kind of probably what, I mean, I will not dive into what exactly the post was about, but, you know, what they do. Uh, then four days ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. So I can yeah. see that he's, he's active. That's good. Um, about section. Um, let's check out the, it's kind of small, probably make it a little bigger and also add some numbers. Again, to mm -hmm. highlight yeah. his achievements in the past dynamic and motivated executive MBA graduate with a proven record of generating and building relationships. Okay, so building relationships as a business developer or as he is now head of growth. That's good. Uh, that's really good. Um, mm -hmm. And manage projects from concept to completion, the adoption pods. Okay. I mean, the, all of this is good. Again, I would just add numbers just, you know, to be more specific. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be good. Then, uh, Yes, so you've been head of growth in um, ever scale network full time seven months. Then he came here. Um, okay, I mean that's good. He worked at Latoken. Yeah. yeah, he's extended history there. Business development management, your bit exchange. So we can see that the guy is in Web three, like crypto, NFTs. That's good. So yeah, his headline. Yeah, that's great. Matches it really well. Um, education, awesome. He has the education section. Uh, straight to the point. Nothing yeah. I'll probably add. There. Yeah. So if you've it's... gone uh, with with the education uh, section, if you if you've gone through any type of Web three education, whether that's like learn Web three or rabbit hole, you should definitely add those credentials. It only adds to the section in a positive way. So similar to how I recommend that for your resume. I would add that to your LinkedIn section as well. Yeah. Um, so skills section, great. Um, let's see, he has 43 skills. I can see that this, I mean, uh, Jara was eight times endorsed, Scrum four times. Oh, wait, I'm not sure how many. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's great. Uh, Microsoft mm -hmm. Excel and yeah, I'm pretty sure other skills. He also got them endorsed by his friends and, you know, co-workers, uh, which is great. Uh, recommendations. So yeah, he has recommendation section. And just to mention, so me and Dima, we used to work together um, and he was under my supervision when I was head of the growth team at LaToken. And uh, he messaged me probably like four weeks ago, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. So December 13th. Yeah, almost a month ago. And he, he asked me if I could give him a recommendation letter. And I was like, sure. So, yeah, this is great. Guys, you know, ask your past employers, you know, your supervisors to give you the recommendations. It's, I mean, it's always mm -hmm. good sure that they're, you know, real, that, you know, people are actually writing how you worked and they're not just because you're friends. Um, yeah, so he has two recommendations, yeah. which I think is good. That's great. Um um languages so he speaks two languages english and russian awesome he has it there then interest section so he follows i mean he follows different people i mean that's good especially if you have like people in common that you follow that's good and also you can see you know if he's following you know top people in web3 you know if it's crypto nfts that's also a good sign yeah yeah. Okay. I think overall, uh, I give this uh, overall, I give this like uh, an eight, eight and a half. Out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah, just do things Solid. to change. Yeah. Next profile. Okay. Um, you know, this profile belongs to one of the candidates that have applied to one of our roles at Meta Intro, and uh, yeah, and I decided to go mm -hmm. over it. Because there's a few things that I would suggest changing. Uh, yeah, but overall, it's it's, it's yeah. a good profile. So, uh, link is good. The first and last name, candidate, awesome. 
I yeah. don't understand the connection of the background picture to a Web3 or, you know, I mean, it, it's a great background picture. You know, it's relaxing. Yeah. To, yeah, but it doesn't have anything to do with LinkedIn work. Just So, yeah, I would add something more specific about maybe like cool Web3 background or, you know, your current yeah. employment. Mm, okay. So uh, the picture itself is good. I mean, that's fine. Maybe, I mean, if I would change it, maybe I would just suggest, you know, just a clear picture, just, you know, with like white background, just, you know, like neutral background, just kind of a headshot picture. But again, it's, it's totally up to you. Mm, okay. So um, what do you think about the tagline? CMO digital marketing ads for Web3 blockchain projects. Um, here, I don't know if she's, uh, open to work or like, um, I can check, uh, let's check. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's move on. So okay. in terms of connections she has 500 plus connections which is good again this will help you to you know get out there boy if you make a pose that you're looking for a job employers yeah. hiring managers you know they will see it that's good um you know they might post it which yeah. will give you exposure to other employers um okay so highlights uh pool founders token pre-launch ama good. i mean if you are in a web3 that you know what is well i mean that you participated in ama session you know token pre-launch that's good what do you think yeah yeah it's fine is there anything like you know uh super interesting about this profile like for the reason that you pulled it oh i pull, i mean this one i just pull, i mean i pulled it because i well first of all i wanted to mention that yeah. i mean there's no educational background here and i just wanted to go into the employment and then just to show yeah. that, um, so this one is part-time. Um, I think that she's not working there anymore. But what I, what I found in weird that mm -hmm. that she has, oh, I guess Google would be, wait. Oh, so Google is education. Interesting. Okay. So, um, mm. yeah. So instead of like a university, she has okay. one. Yeah. So, yeah, this one is just regular regular link honestly nothing yeah nothing major yeah so this one just made you know i didn't like that there was no current or previous work and the yeah. picture i will change and now let's go to a linkedin that... profile that we love uh which we think is yeah. like, like one oh, of the Katia. best yeah yeah, Katia, yeah i mean she i mean honestly yeah, she is, is awesome. like the best linkedin profile that i probably you know came across uh, do you want to go quickly about, you know, I know this yeah. that we did last time, but the, I mean, this one is just great. Um, yeah. Yeah. We, we can like quickly skim through hers because we've, we've seen it before. I actually think it'd be interesting to look at your profile. My LinkedIn profile. Sure. Um, sure. I mean, <laughs> if you want, let's go LinkedIn profile. But let's yeah, go, but let's, yeah, let's, let's go through guys. Yes. Yeah. Let's okay. First, but yeah. I love the background picture, you know, very Web3, yeah. you know, style. I love her mm -hmm. profile picture. It's great. Again, Web3, colors, everything. Awesome. Um, the tagline, it's really good. Up to the point, exactly what she does. You know, built, and I love this part, build 12 smart contracts. This is awesome because she specifically tells you, you know, her achievement right in the tagline. Great. Um, followers, you know, a very big amount of followers, <laughs> close to 9,000 yeah. and over 500 connections. So yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure terms of connections also close to this number. Um, you want to go over her feature? I mean, anything that you would like to highlight in her profile? Yeah, her featured section is great. Um, if you go down to her education section, that's, okay. or not education, her employment section. That's great as well. You'll see that um, super in-depth, 
Um, I'm sure that this matches almost one-to-one -one with her resume, which we've also looked at, at uh, in previous lives. So if you're tuning in for the first time, if you go to our YouTube channel, we save all of our lives to the channel. And you can see, I, I want to say it was like two lives ago, um, we looked at her resume. Yeah. Or was it her crypto Twitter? Yeah. No, no. We, yeah, I... yeah. So uh, go ahead and. Yeah, I think we went through her resume at some point. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. scroll in. Yeah, overall hers is great. A ton of oh, there you go. So she was she went to Odyssey for uh, their boot camp. Um, it's like an example of what I was talking about earlier with like adding your web three. So great job uh, to adding. Adding that, she also has volunteering. Um, yeah, this is great. Licenses like and certifications. We haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, just to mention, thirty-two licenses and certifications. Uh, it's it's a lot. I know. And I like yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Good professional. Yeah. And also skills, fifty skills, <laughs> awesome. Um, recommendations, you know, a lot of recommendations, uh, 76 to be precise. Yeah, that's it's a very strong LinkedIn profile, so yeah, and then she also has publications, honors, and rewards. Yeah, so that's that's a really good one. So, you wanted to go to my LinkedIn profile, <laughs> I wasn't ready for this one, but sure, yeah, yeah, let's end with yours, sure, let's end with yours. So for my LinkedIn profile, it was between. I'll let... uh, oh, okay. Uh, sorry, there's a little bit of a lag. It was between me saying what yours versus uh, let's look at Pratt's. So... Oh, okay, okay. So I mean, I guess I will let you, uh, you know, talk about my profile. Yeah, um, looks great. You can add. Uh, uh, description at the top uh, which mm -hmm. you're missing um let's keep scrolling down um you know let's resources let's look at your about section this one sure i wrote a yeah. long time ago i have to say i didn't update it for probably like half a year <laughs> or longer so yeah i mean nice. it, doesn't, it doesn't have what i'm you know, proposing to everyone to add, you know, metrics and like numbers to specify exactly, yeah. you know, your, which I should definitely add and revise the section. Yeah. You know what we should next live is edit our uh, dim profiles in real sure. time. Yeah. I love it. Let's do it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Next live, next live, we'll do that. Okay. Uh, keep scrolling. Mm -hmm. So activities. Yeah. Um, oh, you nice. Know. I'm being, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I mean, we have a great community. We have a great community in Discord, over 11,000 people. Yeah. And, you know, I love sharing yeah. it with my community on LinkedIn. Yeah. And I know that, you know, they will get great jobs there. So why not? So as yeah. you can see, yes, I'm kind of I active. If yeah. next time. Uh, yeah, you are very active. Um, I wonder if next time. Uh, when we do, when we edit in real time, I'll I'll see if uh, Chat GPT can also help me write my about section. So oh, we'll see if awesome. we'll see if that works. Awesome, yeah. And I, I mean, honestly, I think still not so many people know about it, and this would be awesome to show how it works. You know, during one of the lives. Yeah. I mean, it's life changing. I mean, this is crazy, mind blowing, the way it works. Yeah. Yeah, so um, let's continue. Okay, so experience, experience section, so yeah, chief of staff at Meta Intro. Um, yeah, so the thing here that I will personally change, I need to add description of what exactly I'm doing as chief of staff at Meta Intro. Currently, it's a little bit hard because I'm just doing so mm -hmm. many things. So, you know, all over the place. <laughs> but I, I love it. I love it. This is why I love working in startups because, I mean, there's just need to wear multiple hats and do everything that you can <laughs> yeah and stretch your capacity yeah. 
Um, yeah, so I've been a crypto consultant at CCL. Yeah, just, I mean, small ex explanation here. So we implemented a um, incentive structure to high-performing staff employees uh, so they can receive bonuses in cryptocurrency, which I explained here, also include the skills. Uh, before that, um, yeah, I have, you know, good description here for what exactly I did at LaToken, uh, crypto exchange, Web3. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, anything you want to add here? I think it's great. Um, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I think it's great. Yeah. And then, yeah, this was my business. I used to have, um, a business back in Los Angeles. It was a, um, STEM car detailing services. So I also decided to include it here. Why not? It's kind of my first entrepreneurial experience um yeah so i have my education i included just the university i didn't see the point of having my you know high school yeah so have this here skills i also have people endorse me for skills um and i have 46 skills which i honestly think is enough i mm -hmm. can probably expand a little bit on that but you know for now it's good um and i received one recommendation yeah. from D yeah, so he said, I mean, after I gave him recommendation, he decided to go back and give me an honest recommendation back, which I appreciate. That's good. Um, yeah, and then interests. So, yeah, you can kind of see, you know, I love Ray Dalio. I think he's awesome. Um, if you didn't read his books, I would highly recommend Principles by Ray Dalio. Awesome, life-changing books. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Anything else you want to cover before we finish sure. this live? No, I think we're good. I think we have a good idea for the next live for next week. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, you can watch Alex and I edit our LinkedIn. Because my LinkedIn needs a refresher as well. So, um, yeah, well, today was a great a great run through. What a LinkedIn yeah. professional. Yeah, it was. Um, Actually, you know, before we finish, I want to say one thing that currently, guys, we are running a giveaway. And this is the first time that we're giving mm -hmm. away a swag. We're giving away a custom Meta Intro t-shirt. And this would be, so whoever yep. will receive it will be the first people. It's going to be three prizes. You guys will be the first people to get Meta Intro swag, even before we do. So, yeah, which I, I think know. is awesome. Opportunity. It's, I mean, the main task is to subscribe to our waitlist for the Meta Intro resume wallet. And uh, yeah, you're in for the giveaway. Yep. Okay. Very cool. Thank you, guys. Um, uh, to access the giveaway, oh, sorry, one last thing. Uh, to access the giveaway, just head to our Twitter. It's the pinned tweet. Um, so you'll see it there. But in the meantime, thanks for everybody for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. See you, guys. Bye bye.